guys so welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Madison Lee I am a incoming veterinarian student and I just really like to give advice reviews tips tricks just things that like will make your life a little easier that I found have made my life a little easier so if you're here for that you enjoy hanging out talking subscribe to my channel. But the topic of today's video is one of my favorites. So I love technology. I love when new things get released, like the new Apple computer. Am I gonna buy one? No, cause I'm in college and not rich. But you wanna know what I do have? I do have an iPad Pro. So my iPad Pro has been my best friend. So I absolutely love my iPad. I use it for my notes. I use it to take fun. I just use my iPad for everything. I use it to stock to see that I only have four subscribers on YouTube. It's casual. So when it comes to studying for college, I use my iPad for everything. I use it for my notes. I use it for my flashcards. I use it for my school's app. I use it for so much stuff. So in today's video, I want to dive into what I have on my iPad and things that you would probably find helpful. So just a little disclaimer, let's talk about the iPads that I have. I got the iPad Air when I was in high school and I did not use it as much as I thought I would. I won't lie. So I bought this one when I was in high school uh, with the intentions of like, oh, I'm going to use it so much. I never did because you couldn't ride on it. And that to me was like the biggest thing. So if you're in the market for an iPad, I would just say go ahead and get a pro where you can ride on it. So what do I use for school? I use my iPad Pro and my Apple Pencil. So these two products are the ones that I use every single day for school. Um, if not school, myself, if not myself, work. So I put so many hours on this thing, it's unreal. I've had this since my sophomore year at college and it has held up so well. This is my second Apple Pencil. I do recommend not losing them, but if you do lose them, you can buy more. So there's that little caveat. I don't have the newest iPad because mine's not broke and I figure if it's not broke, why fix it? Honestly, if you have an older iPad Pro, you can do just about everything that you can on the new one, um, including the new sidecar feature, which is probably my favorite thing to do. Let's look at what I exactly have on my iPad. So let's move on over to a desk. Okay, so I brought you guys on my phone. Oh, here's my iPad. And normally I have a stand for this, but I'm not in my office, so we'll just use my cup. So, so you see I have my iPad and my laptop. If we come up here and then we click the display arrow to get a little more options, you can see that I can connect to my iPad. So let's click that. And now I have two monitors look at that like i can go to finder over here and open stuff we can open new windows i can let's let's i don't i don't have anything open we'll open okay so here's finder you can drag things back and forth oh my goodness so i i i love 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 this feature of having an iPad. Like probably my favorite feature of an iPad. This is a newer feature. So like used to could not do this. I love using my iPad as a secondary monitor. I do this when I'm traveling. So when I go home to see my family, I can't lug my secondary monitor with me. But what I can do is take my iPad and my little stand that I got off Amazon and prop my laptop up and have two windows going. Like such a lifesaver, such a unique way to use it. Love it. Favorite thing about an iPad. Oh, my, my favorite thing is about the Apple Pens is you can literally charge them for like 30 seconds and they will charge long enough for you to use them for almost a whole class because I'm the world's worst. Like my things live on 5%. Um, I live on 5%. I drink coffee. My technology lives on 5%. Fast charge is amazing. Okay, so my home screen is pretty much just your normal home screen. Like I don't do anything fancy. Now my phone on the other hand is Western themed. So like shout out to that update. Main apps I use every day for notes and studying is Good Notes and Notability. So Good Notes is one of my favorite apps. I think it has the best selection of pens, highlighters and stuff like that. Um, these are my notes for my animal nutrition class. 
So we can just swipe through here and see. The thing about Good Notes and Notability is I like the gray or white lines paper. I actually purchased some off of Etsy and I can upload them into either one of these apps. Uh, but so that's Good Notes. Good Notes and Notability are very similar. The only hang up with Good Notes is you cannot record while you're taking notes. So let's go over to Notability. So Notability is the app that I use to take notes in class. These are much um, messier. They are all over the place, but my favorite thing about it is I can record lectures. I use Procreate a lot. So Procreate is a art app. So I use this to do a lot of illustrations and things like that. All the things that I draw in Procreate, I could really draw in GoodNotes or OneNotes to the extent at which I use them to study. But if I was doing like some anatomy drawings or something like needed a little more detail, Procreate has a wide variety of brushes and things like that. So Procreate is a great app in that aspect. Khan Academy. Khan Academy is a great app if you're looking for some supplemental videos or material to help you really grasp a concept. So for example, organic chemistry was my kryptonite. If I search organic chemistry, I get all of these videos that go over different sections of that uh, topic or that subject. And these are honestly so helpful. Um, I really used Khan Academy a lot because I had to take organic chemistry not once, not twice, but three times to pass it. Mm, yeah, it was not my easiest class, but I actually use the Outlook app a lot. Um, the Outlook app is probably one of my favorite apps because you can use your calendar, you can get to your email. The reason I keep mine separate is because I know on the native iOS app, you can go and select which mailbox you want to. I'm honestly too lazy to, and I keep it on all mailboxes. And then I just get so many emails. I do not check my school email on the weekends very often, um, but I do check my personal email much more frequently. So I use two separate apps. You don't have to, but that's my personal preference. I also have the Canvas app. I have the Canvas teacher and the Canvas student app. Um, I use these for my online classes whenever I'm traveling on the go and don't have my laptop. I keep my meeting tools on my app. So I use WebEx at our university and I always keep WebEx on my phone, on my iPad, and on my computer because I never know what I'm going to join from. So that's kind of like the rundown, the dirty, the nitty gritty of my iPad. But I do hope that you subscribe to my channel and stick around and please drop a comment below if you have any input on what you'd like to see next because I'd love to see it. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys next time.